Hey, welcome back to Blar. Take a look at card game. Guess who? So this is a card edition of, I guess, the board game. 40 face cards, 20 mystery cards. Made by Hasbro. So you can get this for like five bucks. Uh, sometimes, on, sometimes in big lots, and uh, definitely off Amazon. So two-player game. Let's see what the components look like here. Uh, so top loaded. One deck of cards. Need some instructions. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So it's just a fold out. Okay, here's how you set up the board. This game takes up a little more real estate than I expected. Um, so you have your grids here. So it's going to be a, a four by five. So red and blue, and then your mystery cards. So one player put a uh, mystery card over here, another puts it over here, and then you have a stack that you won't use anymore until the next round or next game, actually. So you have 40 face cards, 20 mystery cards. Beginning of the game, you're going to grab a mystery card. You're, you're going to look at it. So this guy is David. So got a mustache, a hat, blonde hair. And we have Sam has a hat, green eyes, and black shirt. So on and so on. So go to the instructions here. It says get ready. Each player gets one set of face cards, blue or red. Place your face cards in a four by five layout. Shuffle the mystery cards. Okay, you then you lay them out, shuffle your cards, the mystery cards, grab a card each player, place the face down, don't show the other person, of course. And then set these to the side. You won't need them until the next game. So let's play. The player who seems more mysterious <laughs> goes first. Take turns asking questions. On your turn, ask a yes or no question about the mystery character on your opponent's mystery card. For example, you could ask, does your mystery character have a hat? Your opponent must answer either yes or no. If the answer is yes, you know you can get rid of all people without hats. Turn over all their cards. So, so if red asks blue, does he have a hat? Your guy does have a hat, so you would say yes. So he would flip over all the cards that do not have hats on them, face down. So to eliminate all those options. If the answer is no, you can get rid of all the people with hats. So vice versa. So if the answer was no, then all the people who didn't have hats would stay up. And the people who had hats on would be turned face down. Take turns asking questions until someone thinks they can guess who is on their opponent's mystery card. Guessing the mystery card. When you think you know your opponent's mystery character, who it is, make your guess on your next turn instead of asking a yes or no question. Don't make a guess until you're ready. If your guess is wrong, you lose the game. How to win. If you correctly guess your opponent's mystery character, you win. If you guess incorrectly, your opponent wins. So, of course, you definitely want to be sure before you make your guess. And you know, you'll have the names in front of you, so you'll know at least the name off the bat, like who to guess. You don't have to remember that, which is nice. So let's guess who. The art is nice. The card stock is decent. Um, it's a very simple game. Like I said, I think it's four ninety nine or so. And big lots, and you can get it off Amazon. So I just want to add to the collection because I like having like quick card games. Uh, one thing I don't like though is how it's nice to have the bigger cards and art. I think you do need to see, but it does take up a lot of real estate for a, a card game, it's a, like little card game, with a little to it. <laughs> but so you want a cheap card game that's really easy, uh, easy to set up, easy to teach. There you have it. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.